Hi. In this video, we're going to have a look at the divisions of the nervous system. First of all, we'll have a look at the anatomical divisions of the nervous system. So here's a brain. And hanging down from the brain is the spinal cord. Now these two structures make up the central nervous system, or the CNS. Now there are six different sets of nerves which arise from the CNS. There are 12 from the brain and brainstem, and 31 pairs from the spinal cord. The ones coming from the brain and brainstem are called cranial nerves, and we denote those CN1 to 12, and we normally use Roman numerals. The next set are called the cervical, and there's eight of those, C1 to C8. Then thoracic, there's 12, which we named T1 to T12. Then the lumbar nerves, which there's five, L1 to L5. The sacral, which are S1 to S5. And then one little nerve right down the bottom called the coccygeal nerve. And we call that CX1. Now these nerves here are known as the peripheral nerves. And these nerves are called the cranial nerves. Together, they make up the peripheral nervous system. So these are the nerves that lie outside of the CNS. Now there's one more division, and some people call this a functional or an anatomical division. But here I've displayed it as an anatomical division. It's the enteric nervous system. So this is a nervous system of the digestive tract. So the digestive tract has its own nervous system, which allows it to function even if it's removed from the body. It won't function for very long, but it knows where food is within the tract and knows how to control its contractions. Now this is done through a bunch of little cells and networks between these cells. And they're known as the interstitial cells of Cajal. And they're pacemaker cells, which basically allow for coordinated contraction. Now let's have a look at the functional divisions of the nervous system. So, the nervous system comprises of the brain, the brainstem, the spinal cord, and all the nerves that come off it. And there are two divisions. The autonomic division and the somatic division. Now the autonomic are the involuntary nerves. They're the ones that we can't control consciously. The somatic, however, are voluntary, so we can control those consciously. Now these are mainly used for muscular movements, and also for sensation. Now the autonomic nervous system looks after all our organs, which we don't control consciously. And there are two branches of the autonomic nervous system, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic is often known as a flight or fight response, and the parasympathetic as the rest and digest. This gives us a clue to what function these divisions have. Now the parasympathetic is characterized by neurons which release acetylcholine as a neurotransmitter. And these do things like reduce heart rate, reduce sweat, increase digestion, 
and also cause vasodilation. So these are things you'd normally do at rest. Whereas the sympathetic system is characterized by noradrenaline release, or norepinephrine if you're in America. And these causes increased heart rate, bronchodilation, increased sweat, decreased digestion, and vasoconstriction. So the opposite to the parasympathetic nervous system. And these are functions you need in a flight or fight situation. And that's an overview of the divisions of the nervous system. For more free tutorials and the PDF for this tutorial, visit www.handwrittentutorials.com.